Yo, I said, what's up, good folks? I said, what's up, good people? Your boy is feeling really nice right now. That's why I titled it the way it is. Your boy had a couple of drinks. And this this wave seriously has been overdue. We are, we will be going over this Plastic Man wave and everybody involved in it. We're going to get it together and reviewed in one shot. Now, if I'm stumbling over words <laughs> and things of that nature, hey, so be it. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is a dope looking wave. Like I said, looking, I have no idea how they feel, how they move. I will be opening this wave up and going over it with all of you guys. Hold on. I know some folks need these barcodes. Let me bring Green Lantern back. Let me bring uh, my man Green Lantern back so the folks can get the good barcodes off of there. Just in case you on the hunt for it. This is Electric Blue Superman. Right? And... If you need these barcodes and it's going to help you out in your hunt, please pause it when you when the barcodes come up so you can pause it, take a screenshot, take it to your local Walmart or Target, scan it on the actual, well, Walmart doesn't have the, you know, the scanners like they used to back in the day, but Target definitely does still have those scanners and you can use the barcodes to scan it and see if it's actually in store or not. And then you can give the barcodes to an associate and then they can look them up for you. That is the purpose of barcodes. But um, we are here to review these figures. We are not here to review the box. We're going to break each and every one of them out. I'm going to tell you how they are, and we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Let's do it. Up first is Arthur Curry, a.k.a. Aquaman. We will be deep diving into what this figure is all about. Now, this guy with his harpoon hand. Now, there's like, I want to say three or four versions um, depicting how he lost his hand. The one I really like the most <laughs> and how Arthur Curry lost his hand was um, he was trying to save his son and he was chained to this rock and by him being chained to the rock um, his only way out was to well, him and his son was chained to his rock and his son was but a baby uh, but the way he escaped was to he had a sharp object in his hand and only and only way he can escape was to cut his uh forearm off and it freed his whole arm and basically he was able to save his son so that's the one that i really like and that that is actually from the justice league cartoon so i remember that one um, the other ones, we don't have enough time to go over the other ones, but Arthur Curry for sure. Uh, this is the Arthur Curry that I like the most. Um, is it my favorite Arthur Curry Aquaman? Mm, no, no, it's actually not. I like the Arthur Curry with his actual, uh, with his actual scales, um, as far as being on his uh, on his upper body more so than you know the harpoon hand off the curry, but nonetheless he does come with uh, plastic man's arms, so and that's all he comes with. I went over the articulation just by me messing around with this guy so it's no need to be like oh his head moves like this moves like this moves. come on guys you, you can see how he moves right you're going to have some gapage here when you try to move him back or whatever like that his head can't look up 
because of his hair sculpt in the back. So that's going to prevent him from looking up and getting to any type of super dope swimming like type poses. But in a nutshell, he can, he does have a waist swivel, right? He does have, I'm sorry, he does have a diaphragm joint and a waist swivel. So he can move really well at the waist, double jointed elbows, all that stuff. Everything works as it should. Legs come up come back uh, no thigh cut cut none of these figs that i'm going to be reviewing today has any type of thigh cut if there's one thing that i can bring to the mcfarlane line or suggest that todd do would be please incorporate an an a thigh cut please do that and we will be square <laughs> you feel me um but who knows if we'll ever see a thigh cut. I don't. Um, who does? I don't know why Todd just don't. Or I don't know if it's actually Todd or his sculptors or what have you. But I don't know the reason why we cannot get a thigh cut on these actual figures. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of like adjusting my. My camera as I talk because I feel like that it's too low. Okay. Uh, but let's move on to the next one. forget that he does come with the trading card. Every single figure that we have here is going to come with this black stand as well. Uh, so I'm not going to just keep showing the black stand for every figure. This trading card uh, for... Arthur Carey is as such, and the read-up is in the back. Please pause it if you want to read it. But we are moving on to Batman. And right away, this is Batman's trading card from the JLA, as you can see at the bottom, right underneath the Batman. And he is in the correct uniform and or suit his black with the yellow and black Batman symbol and also yellow belt. And this is his read up on the back. Pause it if you care so. And also he comes with the black stand and you guys can't see it because it's out of shot, but he also comes with his grapple launcher, right? So Batman is a little bit back heavy here take the grapple launcher out of his hand he's a little bit back heavy because of his cape even though this cape is pretty pliable and such but it is also a little back heavy so you're going to have to do a lot of counterbalance if you want him to, get to stand without the actual stand that he comes with so batman's neck can look up at a good range here and he can look down a decent amount as well. His tilt from side to side is pretty decent. Arms can come up, all that jazz. He does have a diaphragm joint and also a waist swivel, so he can bend back that far. He cannot bend forward at all. Uh, legs do come out to the side. He has double jointed knees for sure. And he can swivel his legs. And then if you position this universal ball, he can get a generous ankle pivot. You have to position it the right way for, for your desired position. Um, also, did I say double, joint, <laughs> double jointed elbows? He also does have a swivel and a hinge. Well, I should say a swivel at the uh, wrist and you know you can move the wrist up and down because of that universal swivel at that wrist also no need to worry about paint because I know a lot of McFarlane figures are saying or coming with no paint in the back but this one you don't have to worry about that because he's all black so this is all black plastic I don't know if it's picking it up on camera and it's probably not but he does have a little tint of blue 
um, hue to certain parts of his scallops and on the side of his head here is, you know, to represent how he was drawn uh, a little bit on this card. You know what I mean? It's to represent the, the, the shading, if you will. But you really can't tell unless you put your eye all the way up on it. Like, I'm going to have to get the camera up on it. You can see a little bit of blue tint right there in the shin guards. And as I was speaking about before, you can see a little bit of blue tint right there on his head. So um, it's not a big deal, to be honest with you. Um, it's it's all right you know what i mean it's not going to make or break uh if this is a good batman or not i'll tell you one thing though i did not have this batman or i did not get this batman from the three jokers wave that he previously came out on so when they announced that this batman was going to be part of the wave i was like okay cool i don't have that batman from mcfarland and here's another closer look at the grapple gun. Pretty basic. Uh, Batman also does come with these parts for Plastic Man. And what I wish that this these arms, I wish these arms were bendy. If these arms were bendy, this will take this Plastic Man figure to a whole new level. But you can see that that I hit this arm uh in, in pacific and specific <laughs> is grabbing onto his own arm plastic man is grabbing onto his own arm to resemble like a hook or a noose or whatever you want to do to like put around certain figures or whatever like that so um that's pretty cool and this one he has like long elongated fingers so if anything you can like put little items in his hand like he doesn't come with any items to put in these hands but you know and they're they're pretty pliable so you can like you know move them in a way but they'll just come right back into their original form also he comes with other than the arms he comes with two additional head scopes right the first head scope is with this elongated neck this little twisty neck and what's cool is you can see like i want to say windows or whatever have you reflecting off of his shades that's pretty cool even the facial expression is is really different and you know kind of smug or angry looking so that's pretty cool that he came and you know, he comes with that that head scope and then he comes with a smiling head because plastic man he's just really animated in his like expressions and the way he <laughs> he's like the comic relief of the jla along with you know uh flash and or uh, well tell you the truth no the this this being JLA we don't have uh, we have Kyle Rayner and not uh, not John Stewart but uh, oh my god why am I forgetting his name it's popping up in the right we don't have him so usually he's the like the comic relief but Plastic Man is taking that comic relief uh, position. Like, he's definitely going to make you laugh and say some funny things. But let's move on to the okay. next. So the next figure we got up is John Stewart, Green Lantern. And here is his card. It's pretty cool. I mean, this Green Lantern isn't the proper outfit for the JLA um but at the same time uh john stewart uh was briefly in the jla in the beginning of that run but the main one the main lantern that was on this team was actually kyle rayner 
uh, why they didn't include Kyle Rayner? Mm, probably because they put out two other Kyle Rayners before, but also this is our second John Stewart, so that doesn't really make sense neither. So I have no idea. I'm just speculating. Um, but I don't have this particular suit of John Stewart, so I'm not mad at it. Um, the Mezco uh, John Stewart that I do have, um, I have him rocking the ball head. I like, I like, I like that John Stewart more so. But uh, he does come with two power effects, uh, and this one just fits on his fist. You just put it around there. Super easy, and he does have the Green Lantern ring. Um, Articulation-wise, it's not so bad uh, by him being a flying character. Oh, me trying to show you how well his neck articulates. It popped off, but and it's going to keep popping off. But at the same time, it does move, but I guess you got to put it in the in the right position where it can actually look up and not pop off, but I don't think that's going to be possible now that I'm taking a closer look because this, uh, the sculpt of his, the back of his head, if you move it too far, it will just pop off. So this is the furthest his neck is actually going to, going to go. But at the same time, this is a, Decent position as far as, you know, flight pose is concerned. Uh, you do have that waist swivel that can help you with that arch or um, and also a diaphragm joint that can help you with that arch in, in a flying pose if you choose to put them in a flying pose. But head does swivel all the way around. Arms does come up quite above 90, which is cool. And he does have two double jointed elbows. So those work pretty good. And every McFarlane figure is quite rigid in the plastic. If uh, I think they're gonna continue and stick with the same company that produces their plastic. So it's nothing that I don't think that's ever gonna change. Um, I believe also, that's why it's able to be at the price point that it's able to be at. So, you know, those are one of those things. I mean, if I could have a wish, it would to to be used with the same plastic that uh, Marvel Legends, Hasbro, G.I. Joe figures was made from. I don't enjoy this type of rigidness in in the plastic that they actually use. I would more so enjoy the Hasbro plastic, but it is what it is. And this is what's happening. Uh, this is, you know, the, the direction that, you know, the McFarlane team and McFarlane himself has chose to go with. Uh, but as far as, you know, him being able to stand proper uh, without a stand, I think, he does a good job. You know, you didn't see me struggle trying to stand him up or anything like that. Even though his feet does have two peg holes at the bottom, but even though his feet do seem a little small on the small side, he doesn't have a, a problem standing. And his articulation for the most part is pretty good. Whoops. He also does come with Plastic Man's actual feet. Sorry, not feet, but legs in general. He comes with Plastic Man's legs. Plastic Man also has two hole, peg holes at the bottom of his feet, and they are indeed bare feet. Okay, so up next is Electric Blue Superman, and this Superman is definitely dope. Definitely digging the Superman, probably my most <laughs> favorite figure in the whole wave, for sure, like I love Batman. You can tell by my avatar on YouTube and on Instagram. I love Batman, but in this figure, in, in this figure wave, for sure, my favorite figure is 
other than Plastic Man, that is Electric Blue Superman. This is just a dope figure, period. Like, man, this is a nice one. Really digging how they put this one together here. Um, but he does come with his electric uh, pieces here. And you can put them on his legs. You can put them on his arms. Either, either one doesn't. You know, it's, it's your choice. It's your your prerogative. Uh, where where you put his actual electric pieces, but at the same time, going over the articulation real quick. Uh, as you can see, his head looks up at a at a more decent amount than anyone else in the wave. Um, does look down uh, okay, but I would prefer it to look a little bit more down, but that is what it is. Arms do go up well above 90, which is cool. Again, he does have the diaphragm joint and the waist swivel uh, that you can both utilize in articulation and what you want to do and the type of movements and positions you want him to be in. So uh, that works really good. He does also have double jointed knees. Uh, same as all the other ones. He has a ankle ankle uh, rocker and also a hinge. He does have a toe hinge. And I do believe I forgot to go over the toe hinge. All of them have an actual toe hinge for you to articulate and get down with. Uh, but at the same time, um, I just like, I, I think I just like the look of him, um, plus the extra, extra swivel that he also has. I mean, not swivel, but extra movement that he also has in the actual neck uh, is pretty cool, too. Um, so, real quick, let me go over the trading card, stand him up real quick for you guys. And he does have a trading card and kind of want to get into this trading card a little bit uh, because the trading card that he does actually come with is not showing electric blue Superman. It's showing basically, basically the, the you know long haired Superman. So in order for, and you can pause it to read it if you would like in order for McFarlane or any DC company to, do these type of trading cards they have to get artists consent or whoever created the actual character has to say yes you can use my you know my artistry for a promo for the figure that you're using and they probably didn't go through those checks and balances now if the artist is passed away deceased or what have you um I'm not sure how they would go about getting that check and balances cleared, but obviously they didn't for this one. Um, they didn't get that, that check and balance cleared. That, that's why this electric blue Superman doesn't have, you know, an actual picture of electric blue Superman on the card. He does come with a stand just like all of them do. Um, but in a nutshell, this one is dope. I'm so looking forward to finding the electric red <laughs> Superman in store. Definitely want to find that guy. Uh, but next, we're going to go over Plastic Man and see what right, that's so all about. I want to do something a little different. Um, more so than I've seen anyone else do. I want to build, and I like to always do this with, you know, build a figure, collect and connect figures. I like to show me actually putting it together. A lot of reviewers, they will show the finished product. That's not how I do things over here. This is a keeping it real review. So I want to keep it real with you guys. I want to show you guys if I was struggling to put it together and whatnot, I want you to see uh, all of it, the good, the bad, the ugly. That's how we do things over here at Plastic Hack Studios. Um, so it looks like the legs pop on pretty easy. Um, pretty e easy and painless 
to pop the actual legs on. So that's cool. Um, we're going to start with the regular arms first. So we'll do his left arm first. And that popped in pretty painless as well. And we'll do the right arm next. I thought it popped in good, but I guess not. And this is really kind of weird to me. Like, look how small that um, <laughs> that ball peg is. Wow, that is super small, huh? Not used to ball pegs being that small, but let's see if it pops on pretty good. And it does. I think, yeah, I heard the snap, so it pops on pretty good. Let's see, let's pop it off again. And yeah, that, that popped on pretty good. So yeah, uh plastic band came together pretty painless. So that's how it is, you know. Um without his power effects. You guys can see, you know, his other, you know, type of plastic elastic effects in the back, but to go over articulation, uh, I don't want to have that on him. So yeah, his arms can raise up to the side, pretty good amount, does have double jointed elbows, which are pretty good. And he can look down at a fair amount there. And that that's really unsightly to see that gap. Like if you try to get him to look up, since it's not at the um right underneath the jawline, it's at the actual neck. So when you try to get him to raise up, that doesn't look good. Um, but he does look down at a decent amount. And of course he can swivel his head from side to side. Um Crunching forward is ah, non-existent. Crunching back is always good with McFarlane figures. I don't know why he refuses to have a true crunch forward. The hyper extension going backwards works always better than going forward. So his diaphragm joint does work really good there. And then he, he does have a Pretty decent waist, waist swivel as well. Can kick forward pretty good. Uh, double jointed knees. Again, the plastic is very rigid. Um, his legs can kick out to the side, but look how his diver piece kind of like gets in the way. So it's like, I don't know if you get in certain poses, if you need to have his legs extended. I mean, he can do full Van Damme here. You got to kind of like move that out the way. Um, he does have a uh, ankle. His ankle can tilt uh, down this much and it can tilt forward. And he does also have a toe hinge on his actual toe. He doesn't have boots on. He is indeed barefooted and he does have that um, universal uh, ankle. So you can get a generous ankle pivot on him like that there. But let's check out his actual power effects. So we'll see how it is popping everything off again. Well, let's do, let's start with the head. That really trips me out <laughs> how that ball peg is so like teeny. But yeah, and you're going to have a lot of gappage with this. Hold on, I'm going to have to adjust my camera for how crazy tall his neck is uh, because it is <laughs> it is showing kind of out of frame here so hold on i just gotta get him in a pose real quick before I... let's and then check out his balance all at the same time so yeah with his neck man that looks good man I just don't like the gap here. I wish this can be closed up some, but uh, at the same time, it does look pretty cool. So, you know, you can turn his neck. You can make him look behind him like, hey, what's going on back there? You know, and to the side. So it does have a pretty good swivel. 
Uh, you can actually get it to bend down some, which is cool. And he can look up. So on that ball peg, it does, you know, have a actual function there. So that's cool. Uh, let's see if we pop these arms out. And they pop out with no problem. And let's see if we can pop on these powered up arms. Again, man, if these powered up arms had like, man, this, this would take this figure to the next level. If they were actually bendy, oh man, it would truly be a next level figure. Um, people are talking figure the year. Um, I don't really know. I don't know if we can actually get him on the figure of the year talk. Is it a, is it a, decent figure sure sure why not it is it is a, a decent figure but there are things that could have been done to really you know send this figure into the to the next stratosphere of you know being considered figure of the year talks um but all in all i i do I do think this is an, a very important figure to um, to the line, to to your DC collection, to your JLA team, so on and so forth. Like this is definitely an important figure to your JLA team. So to skip or pass this figure, I wouldn't really understand if if you know a collector would want to do that, especially if you're if you love DC and you you want to complete your Justice League or JLA, you're definitely going to need this figure. So all in all, at the end of the day, I think I got to give this Plastic Man Builder figure a solid eight, solid eight. Uh, it's 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 a dope addition. It's a dope addition to to your collection. You're going to need it and. There's no if ands, or buts about it. If you're trying to complete a full Justice League or JLA team, you're going to need this Plastic Man figure. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative. I hope I made your decision easy to get or not to get this JLA and or Plastic Man bath wave. I'll see you next time. Collect what you love. Love what you collect. Be patient with yourself, be patient with your hunts, and if you're patient enough, even the egg can and will grow legs. It's your boy Plastic Addict signing out here. See you next time. Plastic Addict. Out. Truly get out of here. I almost forgot, <clears throat> totally almost forgot to do size comparisons with everybody from the wave. So here we are. This is how they stand. And it'll probably be the thumbnail. All right, I'm out of here. And just one thing. more because I just feel like somebody's going to say something about, why you got Plastic Man kneeling? Well, I'll tell you the truth, Plastic Man is actually the same size as Electric Blue Superman, uh, just about. So there you go with that. All right, I'm out of here for real. Peace.